Hey everyone, this is Drew with Barn Tools. Today, I wanted to walk you through how you can use the Barn Talk Gateway dry contact circuits to monitor equipment around your site. Along with measuring power, each gateway has two dry contact circuits inside that can measure whether or not a circuit is opened or closed. It's important to note that the dry contact cannot be hooked directly to a powered circuit. You must have the appropriate relay switch to do so. With the gateway dry contacts, customers can use 22 gauge alarm wire. This is a low voltage circuit, so a lower gauge wire is not needed. It's critical that you have a trained electrician run wires from the breaker panel back to the relay switch. The gateway can monitor power at the 110 volt outlet it is plugged into. When you have your alarm set, a power outage alarm notification will be received by the user about 60 to 90 seconds after the outage started. The gateway also includes a 24-hour backup battery that allows the gateway to operate even when you've lost power. To monitor both legs of power in your barn, you must use a digital input port. You will also need a 240-volt relay. This operates identically to a 120 volt relay, but is designed to measure the increased voltage. After setting up your alarms in the Barn Talk app, you will get notified in real time if either leg of power is lost. In a normally closed circuit, the Barn Talk app will show that the circuit is closed in its normal state. When the circuit is open, the alarm will be triggered. This is how we recommend that you wire your controllers, generators, feed lines, and other equipment you would like to monitor. In a normally open circuit, the Barn Talk app will show that the circuit is open, and when the circuit closes, an alarm is triggered. To learn how to set up your dry contact alarms, visit the Barn Tools Online Help Center and check out our YouTube channel for more Barn Talk videos.